Hi all, this will be my Game Guru Novice Tutorial. So head up to File and click New Random Level. This will also get you some randomly created terrain in case you want terrain. So for the purpose of this tutorial, let's make a medieval horror game. So head over on the sidebar over here, click on markers, click player start. Now you can put the player start wherever you want. Then after that, head back over and click entities. So to start off, let's click add new entity. And let's go down to weapons. Now you can pick whatever weapon you would like for your game, but for the purpose of this, I'm going to use a sword. Let's put it right next to the player start. So to start off, let's use some buildings and make a little city. Excuse me. There we go, let's go back and another entity, and let's add some bad guys. I'd recommend starting off with an unarmed for the player to get used to the game. There we go. Now let's click over here on the paint grass, and let's add a little bunch of grass to our level. You can use the plus or minus keys to expand how big this, how big the circle is. That should look good. Now, just for the fun of it, let's add a few more buildings. Alrighty, let's test this. <clears throat> well, at the bottom it should say press E to pick up sword, so grab the sword. And as you can see, our buildings are here. We've got some hills from the train we used. Now you can modify the health and stuff to regenerate later. That'll be what we do next. As you can see, we're off to a nice little start. Let's head back into entities. Maybe a few tents. Add a church. Now click on the green start icon and click properties. This will allow you to modify the settings for the player and you can even give them a weapon to start with. So let's go into statistics, give them a life. 
for 50 hit points, a regeneration rate of 15 p points, and one point every thousand milliseconds. Modify jump, hurt, gravity, footfall, pace, and acceleration right here as well. So let's click apply changes. As you can see, our level is coming along nicely now. As you can see, our player's health is regenerating over time. So if you hit tab and tab again, you can edit the sky, make the terrain look nicer. Increase the ambience, turn the shaders up. Now we have a real nice looking level. As you can see, we now have a nice little starting level. Now from this, you could easily go back in, add more enemies. But for now, I'll just show you how to modify the terrain yourself. So, suppose we want the mountains here to be taller. Click up here on the box, on this little triangle icon. I'd decrease the size for more accurate mountains. And select where we want to paint the mountains at. Now, suppose you get a bug like this. You can click over here on the button that looks like level mode. And you can drag around the entire top and make it flat and all equal size. So now we've got ourselves a mountain top. And let's make ourselves a ramp up there. So click on the one that looks like a ramp. Click the top and drag down to where you want your ramp to end. And now if you want you can clean that up a little. By clicking this it will blend it in. Make it look slightly nicer. Every game you want everything to look nice. Well, let's go back in and test to make sure we can climb that mountain. <coughs> Grab a sword in case anyone tries to attack us along the way. with the king of the mountain. So now we can laugh at all the bad guys who can't get up here. <laughs>